hope you're doing well. Uh, it's a beautiful, beautiful morning at the east coast of southern Sweden. There are really lovely colors in the sky and it's a low tide, a lot of birds and hopefully the shore bird season has begun. I really, really miss photographing shorebirds. It's just amazing. Uh, just in a couple of weeks, I'm going north uh, to photograph shorebirds. Or hopefully photograph shorebirds, you never know. But uh, I have high hopes. So, really looking forward to that. But yeah, what a morning. The moon is rising and it's really visible, really beautiful. Uh, just amazing. <laughs> I wish you were here guys, uh, truly, it's, it's amazing. Avocet or Avocet? Nah, Avocet. Uh, really amazing bird, uh, really stunning. Probably one of the most photogenic shorebirds we have in Sweden. Uh, really stunning, black and white, or white and black, and um, very iconic upward uh, bent beak. Really, really stunning. Uh, there are three, what I can see right now. Uh, they are about 100, 150 meters away. And hopefully they come this way. Uh, really nice. I've only photographed them once and the photos came out. <laughs> well, they're good, but not as good as I want them to be. Uh, so yeah, hopefully they come closer. Um, the ocean are residing even more, so I have a lot of beach in front of me, which aren't ideal for the other set because they tend to stick in the water, uh, feeding, looking for food, and so on. So uh, uh, don't really know if they will come close. Hopefully they do, but I don't think they will go up on the beach. Uh, maybe to rest, but I don't think so. As I came out of the hide, I saw that the avocet was down, uh, further down the beach here. Couldn't see them due to, due to the haze of the water, uh, the water warming up and creating a lot of vapor. Uh, so couldn't see them, but they were further down the, the beach, so I decided to move my my hide over there. There was also three oyster catcher, but they moved on as soon as I walked that way. But uh, yeah, it's a beautiful morning. Like it's, it's stunning. Uh, a bit cold, 
I'm freezing I'm freezing my hands my hands are freezing yeah my hands are freezing uh, but uh, yeah totally worth it I'm gonna spend another two hours here then I'm heading back home and hopefully I can grab a photo of uh, something and some videos for you guys <laughs> but uh, yeah uh, this is gonna be a vlogging style video nothing I tend to do uh, chaotic as usual when it comes to me you know uh, things never go as planned when uh, when I do stuff so I'm always um, improvising and moving on and uh, trying different things but uh, yeah fun 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 <laughs> so uh, dropping my camera uh, but yeah really beautiful can't wait to get more uh, photos of shorebirds it's a little bit moist I think the water is coming in uh, I think you can hear uh, the oyster catchers they're quite loud birds and easy to, to spot and easy to hear uh, but yeah <gasps> out of breath already not good not good but uh, yeah so here my here's my height the Tragopan hooky uh, version 3 it's a all right height uh, as you know if you follow me on my adventures you know I like the hooky uh, the only downside with this blind or this hide is that the walls uh, along the window is a bit too high and I like my low angle photos um, so it makes it a little bit harder to to record video and get stable because you need to have your hand up in the air and uh, the camera on top of your hand in order to stabilize it because uh, the walls uh, these are too high as you can see over here uh, these are too high uh, if you put your camera like this can't rest on the ground uh, which makes it unstable unfortunately but uh, that's what to expect from a sheep hide and uh, yes I think it's a sheep hide uh, cost around 200 euros the very cheap affordable uh, superb hide otherwise and uh, yeah uh, anyways gonna set up my microphone to record some ambient sounds and then I'm gonna <laughs> then I'm heading back into the hide uh, and hopefully photograph, some, photograph something I think I will have to wait an hour before the birds come back but uh, yeah anyways enough talking Andy <laughs> So it's 9.30 and uh, there are no birds, there came a few fishermen, 
uh, into this bay here and they are out fishing in the ocean so don't think there will be any birds so um, I'm gonna pack up unfortunately I didn't get any photos or good video but that's how it is you know and uh, yeah I just need to try more and uh, this is just the beginning of shorebird season and I am sure that I will get something nice next time <laughs> so anyways uh, sorry if the video was kind of boring but uh, you know that's wildlife photography and that's bird photography you can't go out and be like Trond Vespi and uh, and uh, produce awesome videos every week uh, I don't know how he does it but uh, for me it's impossible no matter how much I go out and photograph I can't record a video for every single week it's just impossible <laughs> so anyways um, I'm heading back home uh, thanks for watching if you liked the video please leave a like comment and uh, do consider subscribe to my channel as I said before I have a lot of projects coming up uh, there will be a lot of shorebirds videos there will be um, waterfall videos there will be floating hider videos there will be crane videos and uh, a little bit of uh, more exciting videos as well uh, camping videos and overnighters so yeah i am really looking forward to this season and i think it's gonna be really really nice uh, so yeah anyways thanks again have a nice day and take care bye